So welcome to part B of this, um, yeah, of, of introducing the important language when talking about Venn diagrams. Yeah, so in my previous video, I've I've introduced some of the important language. Now we will continue. Let's say we have four sets A, B, C, and D. And I just randomly wrote down three uh, countries. Yeah? So set A contains Egypt, India, Thailand. B contains Egypt and C, India and Thailand. And D contains Egypt, India and Thailand again. Now I can say the following. Now that B, yeah, so set B is a proper subset of A, yeah, and that is a proper subset. That's the notation for it. I'm going to show you in a minute what that exactly means. I can also say that the set C is a proper subset of A. And finally, and I'll do, well, no, I'll do that here, I can say that D, yeah, so set D is a subset of A. So not a proper subset, but just a subset. So it has a little line there. Now, what does that mean? Uh, very quickly, uh, let's say I have set A, and it has the countries Egypt, uh, India, and Thailand in them, okay? Now, why is B a subset of A? Because the entire set B lies inside set A. So, because B only consists out of the country Egypt, the entire set lies inside A. And therefore we call it a proper subset. Same for set C, containing India and Thailand, okay, is also a proper subset because the entire set C lies inside A. Yeah? And then why do we call set D just a subset of A, because actually it is exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah, so this is also D, yeah, because D also contains the elements Egypt, India, and Thailand, okay? Now, very quickly, in my class, I usually make the joke yeah, when I introduce uh, subsets, where I say, um, uh, for in, uh, so I have uh, this universal set, and I have, this um, this set of uh, what shall I do? Um, great football players. So great football players. Yeah, and then I have a subset. Yeah, of people from Holland. Yeah. So which means that people from Holland, okay, is a proper subset of great football players. What does that mean? That means that everybody from Holland is a great football player. Okay, there are no exclusions. All right, so those were the subsets. Then finally, and I'm, I'm almost done. It's a little bit chaotic, I, I, I realize that, I, I apologize. I just wanna go back to this one. This is from uh, part A, because I have two more things I need to tell you and they're quite important, that is the union of A and B and the intersection. So if I have two sets here, A and B, then A union B. And the other one you need to know is A intersection B, okay? And A union B, I like, like the labor union if you like, is everything inside A and B. It doesn't matter, it's everything, okay? So if I would combine two questions, let's say the number or the amount of elements of A union B, I would say, well, one, two, three, four, five of them in total, okay? A intersection B, however, yeah, so, the mountain but upside down it's that intersection so that is only where they overlap and that is here in the middle that is going to be a intersection b and again if i combine the two n intersection of a and b okay so the amount of values you can hardly see it but those are two all right i have introduced all the language now a little bit chaotic two uh, separate uh, videos now have a look now at my next videos where I'm going to show you the types of questions you're going to get with this, uh, with this uh, language, um, where we are going to shade 
um, Venn diagrams, okay? You can also go to my website, explainingmaths.com, or find me on Facebook for more information and resources, okay? I'll see you later.